Hello again everyone, it's Vince Four from TradingWinds.com and this is our update for March 17th, 2020. Let's take a quick look at today's markets. Uh, well, a bit of a rally today. We did see the Dow bounce a little over a thousand points or 5.2%. This after uh, the Federal Reserve uh, came out to announce uh, more measures here to add liquidity. And this, this one actually uh, is aimed at at businesses helping them directly it's a commercial paper lending program basically any company that um, issues a corporate bond the government will will buy it and therefore lending that money to that company so certainly helps out businesses the market like that we did see a bounce the s p 500 uh, finishing higher by 143 points or six percent the nasdaq was up 430 or 6% and the Russell 2000 up 69 points or 6.5%. Bond market pulled back sharply here and the yield on the 10 year note actually closed above 1% today, 1.08 to be more specific. Uh, crude oil continues to fall down another dollar seven seventy nine or 6%. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get my chart to update here. Let's refresh. There it is. There's crude and um, gold today bouncing nicely up $43 at the official close or 3% while the dollar here, the dollar index continues to climb. It is almost back at those highs at 99 here, closing at 99 and a half. The high was 99.91. Now, bitter news aftermarket close uh, Boeing. Boeing, um, as you can see here, Hit a high of 446.01. This was last March, so about a year ago. And today is at 124.14. What a fall there. Now, as we know, they had those 737 MAX issues earlier in the year. But now with the whole coronavirus event and how it's affecting the airline business has really put pressure on Boeing. And um, during the regular market session, they were down a little over 4%. Right now, after hours... They're down again. Uh, they're currently trading around 119. Down another five points here on news that uh, the company is seeking tens of billions of dollars in U.S. government loan guarantees and other assistance. In other words, they're looking for a bailout. And um, I'm sure it will come, but, uh, you know, we'll have to see what the amounts are, if anything, here. Boeing, though, remains firmly under pressure and looks like it should open lower again tomorrow. That's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you on our next update.